I just want them to understand we're real people. We're not just a claim number. We're real. We're out here struggling. Private duty nurse Lorna Turner lost her job in June. I mean, we're almost through our savings. And pride-wise, I've never had to file for food stamps or anything like that. This is the first time I've had to. Timothy Adkins made concrete pipes until he was laid off in July. He's having trouble finding another job. Everybody has a, 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 a hiring freeze on because of COVID, and I can't support my family. You know, I'm anxious. Uh, you know, some bills are lacking. I paid, you know, I had to prioritize to to be able to make it and, you know, with some family support. Both say their unemployment benefits are on hold. They've contacted lawmakers about it and spent hours and days trying to reach unemployment workers by phone or email to find out why. When I did get a hold of somebody, they can't tell you when they're going to do the interview because that's somebody else in a different department. This recent email told him it could take 10 to 15 days before he's contacted. In an email to 11 News, a spokeswoman for the Labor Department writes, 781,000 claims have been processed since March. 44,443 claims are currently pending. Most of them are disputed and require further investigation. Also, more staffing has been brought in, and starting next week, 575 employees will be handling claims at call centers. The spokeswoman also writes, while claimants may wait several weeks for an interview, our claims agents are actively cold calling claimants to conduct interviews and clear issues. But for Timothy Adkins and Lorna Turner, waiting for answers adds to their distress. I know they're overwhelmed. I understand that. But, you know, six months is beyond, you know, people having to be patient. And the Labor Department also tells us that it has paid out $8.2 billion in unemployment benefits. Reporting live from downtown Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.